Hi everyone, welcome to Combined Sunday School for First Trinity, St. Matthew, Lifeline Partnership, uh, any of our friends from Vacation Bible School, all are welcome. I'm Miss Kimberly, I do the Sunday School uh, for First, Ma First Trinity and St. Matthew, and I'm also going to be joined by Pastor Suzanne, who leads a Lifeline Partnership. Sunday school and so many other things. So we're going to start with creating a sacred space and Pastor Suzanne is going to do that for us. After that we're going to have a we're going to do the Lord's Prayer. Then we're going to have a Bible story and we'll also have some send you some fun things that you can work on at home. So I'm really excited about our new format and I hope you like it. Hi everybody, Pastor Suzanne. I'm down here in the First Trinity Fellowship Hall in what we call the Sunday School Room. So before, in normal times, you all would come down here on Sunday mornings and Miss Kimberly would have a story for you and activities to talk about the story and you would she would have questions and we'd all work together to try to figure out what the Bible story means and what it means for you. So we're still going to do that today, except you all are in your own physical space and we're going to be in our physical space, but we can still come all be together in one space by doing what I call making sacred space. So one of, what, one of the ways that we do that is by lighting a candle. So here's an electronic candle. I'm going to turn it on and you can see the glow. And that reminds us that the Holy Spirit is here with us. So we're all together in the same space, even though we're physically apart. And the Holy Spirit will be here with us to help us to listen to the story, to talk about what we think it might mean for us. And then to try to figure out what that means when we walk back out the door. So let's get started.
Hello, this Sunday we're going to talk uh, about another time when God kept his promise. We're going to talk about the story of Abram and Abram becoming Abraham and he and his wife Sarah having a baby. So we've got a little bit of a Bible roadmap to kind of show where we are uh, in the Bible storyline. First of all, um, you know, the creation happened and then Adam and Eve. And last week we talked about Noah. So after Noah and God, God flooded the world and sent a rainbow to remind us he would never do that again. Then people still got... Uh, wanted to be more powerful than they should be and they tried to build a tower to go all the way to heaven and then God got mad and he's kind of scattered them and added all kinds of different languages so they could talk to each other. So after that we start the story of Abraham and that's where we are. So we're after Noah, right after the Tower of Babel, but we're before, uh, before Joseph. So we've got Abraham and so we're going to learn about the promise that God gave Abraham. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you and will make you exceedingly numerous. And Abram fell on his face and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your offspring after you throughout their generations, for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. God said to Abraham, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nations, kings of people shall come from her. So we have some slides to kind of help tell the story. A long time ago, God made a special promise to Abram. Look at all the stars, there are too many to count. You will have a big family with lots of children. There will be too many to count. How could this happen, thought Abram. I don't even have one child of my own. But Abram believed God would do just as he had promised. And God told Abram that his family would be servants in another country for 400 years. And God would, then God would send them to live in their own country that he would give them. God gave Abram a new name, Abraham. Abraham waited and waited. Sarah, his wife, was very old when they had a baby boy. God had not forgotten his promises. They remembered God's promise. The Bible tells us that God did everything he said he would do. Tadushi, Tadushi. Koto, Koto.
Ha 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 ha! 